Hello, my name is D'Angelo Ellis, and I'm from Ms. Radcliffe's fourth period, and this is our project. A brief summary of A&P that we came up with was in A&P, three girls with nothing but bathing suits on walked into the store. Sammy, along with all the other men in the store, noticed the girls. The manager starts a huge argument with the girls. Sammy made a huge immature decision and stood up for the girls, hoping that he would gain their attention. Even though the girls did not notice him, he still thought that his actions were not called for to take back, so he lost his job. Hi, I'm Dennis from Ms. Radcliffe's first period class, and I am presenting my short story exam project. Skin. Skin is about an old man named Drioli who was walking the streets, lonely, hungry, and cold. He spots an art gallery and decides to go in. But the moment he walks in, they decide to try and kick him out until he rips off his shirt and then they see his back. His back had a tattoo that was done by the famous artist Soutine. He was getting offers of money from everyone, but one offer stood out. It was a man who told him that he'd be able to show off his tattoo in his hotel and that he'd have a place to sleep. But the hotel did not exist and he did not have a place to sleep. The man ended up taking the tattoo off of his back and leaving Drioli alone. The Masku of the Red Death A disease called the Red Death plagues the country and it causes the victims to die a quick and gruesome death. The prince thinks that he can escape death by hiding in his castle. After several months of being alone in his castle, closed off from the country, he decides to throw a big masquerade ball. He invites everyone that's not infected in the country to come and celebrate with him. But somebody that's infected with the Red Death gets in. The prince is instantly killed when he comes in contact with this person. The ones who walk away from Omelis. This story is about a utopia that looks happy, but its secrets is what makes everyone so happy and content with their lives. Their secret is that they have locked away a child that is being deprived and underfed of life and food. The Omela community does not let everyone see this. You have to be an adult and you can't speak to him, touch him, or even come in contact. Some leave, but some choose to stay. The utopia works because they know that there's somebody that is living worse than them, so they don't get upset and they don't get frustrated with their way of life. The Bet In the bet, a lawyer and a banker got into a disagreement about if the lawyer could stay locked up in a cage for five years. But the lawyer, knowing his capabilities, upped the stakes to 15 years. As it got to the 15 years, the banker began to get worried that he'd go bankrupt. So he went out to go check on the lawyer to see if he left. And while he was looking, he saw a letter, so he picked it up and read it. It read that the lawyer had been practicing how to live without the outside world and that he was going to leave five hours prior to the bet being over. The banker was very relieved that he wouldn't go bankrupt and he wouldn't have to pay two million rubles. The banker kissed the lawyer on the forehead and left in such joy. The Hunger Artist The Hunger Artist was about a man who traveled from town to town fasting for up to 40 days. One town he went to was so fascinated at first, but then became very suspicious that they put guards at the cage at night. Even then, people still didn't believe that he was actually fasting. This made him highly frustrated. He got so frustrated that he began to sing while the guards were watching him just to prove that he was not eating. And even then, the people of the town still believed that he mastered the art of singing and eating at the same time. He was highly upset. One day, the circus overseer found him laying down in a fetal position in his cage. His last words were that he wasn't content with his performance because it wasn't real. He didn't find food that he liked, therefore he didn't eat. He was replaced with the panther that was the exact opposite of him. 
and it brought more life and more excitement and more fascination from the town. Was don't let your wants determine the way you live. The reason why we came up with this theme is in A and P, the men in the story all wanted to impress the girls that walked into the store. The girls that walked into the store made Sammy the cashier quit his job, which was really immature. The bet, the theme for the bet was a point does not have to be made in every disagreement. Uh, we came up with this theme by. Um, because in the bet, the banker and the lawyer got into a huge disagreement about if the lawyer could stay in a solitary confinement for five years. But the lawyer um, moved up his stakes to 15 years. A hunger artist. The theme that we came up with for a hunger artist was to be happy with what you have. Because in the hunger artist, he was not satisfied with his crowd and fans and how they enjoyed his art. He feel like he feels like he needs more attention on what the artist did for him and that the people are not giving it. Theme. Not everything is as good as it seems. Evil is everywhere. The people of Omelas know that there's something evil in their community, but the good outweighs the evil, so they choose to ignore it. The evil in the community is the child being treated poorly, but it helped them to live happier lives because they knew that they were living better than the child. Masque of the Red Death Theme You can't escape death. Being born to die is the human curse. The prince was isolated in his castle because he wanted to escape death. He invited people in but kept the, but kept the gate shut. But death still found its way to him. Skin. Deep desire can make you do very evil actions. When the artist Drioli shows off the painting on his back, buyers swarm him with deals. One buyer's deep desire led him to lying to Gioli and saying that he would bring him to a hotel. There was no hotel and they stole the painting off his back.